to mention, Milwaukee is not supposed to get the brunt of the storm. More wet than snowy, really. But it's still going to feel the effects of Brandon Cruz live at Red Arrow Park, where the ice skating's been going on all night. How's the city getting ready, Brandon? Well, it is getting ready, and in fact, in the last couple of minutes, a few raindrops have started to fall down here as people are still ice skating. And even though the brunt of the storm is not supposed to hit Milwaukee, they are preparing for the worst as the storm approaches. <laughs> Skaters at Red Arrow Park enjoy Wednesday night's calm weather. But on Thursday, this popular ice rink may not have any skaters as a winter storm will bear down on the city and surrounding areas. Well, it's anywhere from two to six inches of snow forecast to start uh, tomorrow afternoon sometime. That means it's a busy time for Milwaukee's sanitation services manager, Wanda Booker, as the city prepares for the incoming weather. Morning commuters will most likely deal with a rain-snow mix, which will last into the early afternoon. Then it will become windy and turn to snow in the late afternoon. We're believing that tomorrow rush shower is going to be uh, especially problematic because people will be trying to be, get home at the height of when the heavy snow is, is forecast to come in. Milwaukee County says it's ready for that change with 50 pieces of equipment ready to go if necessary. The city is prepared as well. We normally start out with about 90 pieces of equipment on the road. Uh, those are salt trucks which have the capability to plow as well. And that adds another thing for drivers to be aware of if they're on the roads during the storm. It's very difficult for our trucks to navigate the main streets because the cars are in front of them. So give our trucks space uh, to, to actually get through and to apply the salt to the road. Drive uh, uh, very cautiously on tomorrow and just have a lot of patience and slow down. Slowing down the key, obviously, if you are out on the roads. We did talk to MPS. They said they are always evaluating the weather and will be prepared for whatever comes their way. Also, the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says if more deputies are needed out on the roads, they will bring them on. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. All right, Brandon, thanks much. And don't forget about those winter parking rules. They went into effect on December 1st. Most residential streets require alternate side night parking. And there is no overnight parking on the major arterial streets and the bus routes. You know, some streets may not have the no parking signs posted, Sarah, so you really need to check online to see what the rules are in specific streets. DPW offers an email as well as text alert message system, by the way, and uh, you can sign up for that or check your streets parking rules on the links or through the links on fox6now.com. Well, winter parking rules, not exactly a favorite of the folks.